I am Ashish Jamin and I will be talking about the merge statement that is introduced in SQL Server 2008. For this screencast, I am using SQL Server 2008 RC0 bits that can be downloaded from MSDN along with books online if you want to. In SQL Server 2008, you can perform insert, update or delete operations in a single statement using merge. The merge statement allows you to join a data source with a target table or view and then perform multiple actions against the target objects or table based on the result of that join. You can synchronize two tables by inserting, updating and deleting rows in one table based on the differences found in another table. Some of the uses scenarios are Conditionally, you can insert or update rows in a single target table using a single statement. And if a row exists in ta target table, updating one or more columns or inserting the data into a new row. Or you can use it for synchronizing two tables. Insert, update or delete rows in the target table based on the differences within the source table. So let's fire up uh, SQL Server 2008. Ma SQL Management Studio, SQL Server Management Studio. To start with, let's create a new database and for this sample, I'll just call it Merge DB. And the database is created. Let's use this database so that all the operations that we do would actually execute in this database. So in this database, what it'll do is we will create three uh, tables, inventory table, with with a product and the stocks which we have in hand a product table with the product ID and name of the product as well as some pricing which I don't think that we're using the pricing anywhere uh, and the sales table where uh, we have sales ID and product ID and quantity and the idea is that any time a sales happens in a, for a product the items get deducted uh, by in the inventory table essentially so we are we will be keeping a tab on inventory table based on the sales that happen uh, using the merge statement we will either be uh, updating the inventory or deleting uh, from the inventory or inserting data into the inventory based on us when the sales happen so let's quickly insert some data in the products table so a tie, a sock, and a shirt, uh, socks and shirt. So now essentially, so we didn't create the products. Sorry about that. So let's create all these tables. So here we have, and now let's insert data into the product table. So now we have three rows there, uh, and inventory. Let's actually have twenty-five ties, fifty socks, and a pair of socks and uh, 15 shirts to start with right so now we have products and inventory uh, now let's uh, make a sale so at the end of the day uh, for my ties now I have 12 ties sold uh, 15 pair of socks and six uh, shirts sold so let's just execute this so now if you look into the data uh, quickly so we have uh, this is our uh, pro in uh, product table uh, this is our inventory table and this is the sales table essentially so if we sold 12 ties then our inventory actually should reflect 13 here uh, when the sales happen so let's create a stored procedure called update inventory and this update inventory actually would make sure that our in the sales are reflected well and correctly in our inventory table. So as I mentioned before uh, the the merge state the merge syntax actually have five clauses. So the first one is merge where we define what the target is. So merge inventory so inventory table as a target and the second one is using where we define what the source is so essentially what we're trying to do here is is pull some data from the source uh, check it against inventory and then make some decisions when there is a match or not a match or other conditions so we are merging inventory 
selecting product ID, quantity from sales, uh, and then we actually are naming the product ID and quantity ID. This is an alias. Then the on clause specifies the join condition. So we are saying that you know match the inventory product ID to the sales product ID, and when it is matched, then uh, the inventory stock and sorry when it is matched and the inventory stock minus the order quantity is less than or equal to zero that means we have sold everything then delete the item from inventory altogether and if it is just matched then update the inventory uh, to stock minus whatever we have sold and if it is not matched that means there is nothing in the inventory then insert uh, 30 uh, items for that particular product obviously this this is just to show but you know in in a, in a production application this would trigger something that would then then uh, send a notification to replenish the the inventory and whatnot and then the fifth clause which is output if you want to show something you can say uh, as as a result of this statement you can say okay show me the inserted product id or inserted stocks that means you know anything that gets got gets updated and inserted as well as if anything gets deleted and deleted it's something like you know in triggers we have we have uh, when when we execute a trigger uh, there are two tables uh, you know a, a inserted table and deleted table and the same kind of concept that we can get the data so this is our stored procedure and if i execute this all right so as as let's actually quickly go back and look what we have in inventory and what we have in sales so we have uh, 12 ties in uh, 50 socks pair of socks and uh, 15 shirts and the sales today made was 15 uh, 12 15 and 6 so when we execute the stored procedure uh, it should reflect correctly in the inventory so essentially it's saying that now the inventory has 13 uh, ties uh, the stock obviously was from deleted was 25 uh, so previously there was 50 and now it is 35 and 15 and 9 the same thing let's actually quickly go back here and and see if our data is reflected correctly which is fine now let's just uh, execute it once more so let's say we have exactly the same kind of sales on the next day uh, perfect so all I'm, I'm trying to uh, show you is not matched so now if I execute it the third time this should actually delete uh, the, the ties because we have sold more than what we have in an in inventory and if I execute it it should replenish it with 30 and 30 so essentially in in one statement using merge we can update the data which is here uh, we can delete the data based on some condition which could be any condition here uh, yeah. so I hope it was useful for you to know more about the merge statement if you want to learn more you can go to these resources microsoft.com vac sql vac 2008 uh, prod info and you can also go to connect.microsoft.com and my team blog which is at blogs.msdn.com vac usisvde we have a lot more information there uh, so thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks. Bye.